Secular Art saying, what are your thoughts on the, oh yeah, I know, but the NSO group's hacking tool known as Pegasus, potentially being sold to a US defense contractor. Okay, so I know much, I know a little bit about Pegasus, but I don't know about this thing that you're talking about. So let's, let's figure this out together. Hold on, let me put this over here. Entire screen here. <clears throat> let's see what we're looking at. <clears throat> All right, so U.S. defense contractor in, in talks to take over NSO Group's hacking technology. Okay, I don't understand. This is this is supposed to be an evil de thing. Why are people? Why is U.S. defense contractors now using it? So I don't know if you is is this is Pegasus. Like U.S. defense contractors are going to use. Okay, let me actually read before judging. The U.S. defense contractor L3 Harris is in talks to take over NSO's group surveillance technology in a possible deal that would give an American company control over one of the world's most sophisticated and controversial hacking tools. Okay, this is dangerous. Guys, we're all screwed. We're all screwed. No, nothing that you have now is safe. Nothing is private anymore. Multiple sources confirmed that this course discussions were centered on the sale of the Israeli company's core technology or code, as well as possible transfer of the and so why are they okay so this is pegasus what they're not mentioning it right transfer of nso personnel to l3 uh, to l3 harris but any agreement still faces significant uh, guys i thought this was like an illegal thing anybody who worked with this israeli company would have been like blacklisted now like u.s defense contractor has access to the, so we're just normalizing this right i don't understand like now all our phones are completely transparently available to everybody guys everything you type everything you send you know apparently now everyone could see like somebody's um in, within the if you think i'm naive and it was always like this no it was not always like this this is so transparently now everything is available to everybody so secular rarity in the live chat is saying yes i think specifically calls out pegasus later on the article okay mm Okay, but any agreement, how is this legal? But any agreement still faces significant hurdles, including requiring the blessing of the US and Israeli government, which have not yet given the green light to a deal. Well, this is, they shouldn't, oh my God. In a statement, a senior White House official says such a transition, if it were to take place, raises serious counterintelligence and security concerns for the US government. All right, guys, so this is, by the way, when you say a US defense contractor, we're talking about the private sector. So the private, this is not even the government, okay? The private sector now has access to a technology where no, no, nobody, not even the government should have access to. I know this story will, was jointly reported by the Guardian, the Washington Post and Haritz. Is that how you read that? If I agreed the deal would mark an astonishing turnaround for NSO, less than a year after the Biden administration's placed the See, I was right. I knew my stuff. Okay. I knew about this. So everything has, so the Biden administration placed, placed the company on the blacklist, but now it has been so normalized. They're like, Hey, daddy Biden, can we actually buy this for a U.S. company? Not just an Israeli company. God damn. And accused it of acting contrary to the foreign policy and national security interests of the United States. What about the people? Guys, like and this is the normalization of your data being accessible to any to anybody that can afford the technology like this. How is this okay? How is this like being so people are not even hiding this anymore? Like this is like, okay, yeah, we're doing this. Like nobody gives a crap. Like this is normal. This should be illegal. NSO's government uh Government clients are known to have used the surveillance technology to target journalists, human rights activists, senior government officials. Like, guys, this technology is becoming everywhere. Like, now people are just selling it left and right. Eventually, some people will just copy the code illegally, and everybody's information will be available to anybody that has access to this code, okay? Just remember, everything you're writing is potentially... But how could human rights activists do what they're doing now? If this is the case, uh, senior government officials in the U.S., allied countries, and uh, lawyers around the world. Yeah, this is the, the journalists and human rights activists are the main uh, groups that I'm concerned about. 
they everything now all their communications like imagine for example an iranian human rights activist if eventually the iranian government has access to this technology like if they want to like communicate with people outside of iran to send their messages out like well okay everything now everything on your phone is now accessible to whoever can hack your phone and now everybody who you contacted now the uh, iranian government could see all the people you've contacted as well and they're they're also going to be at risk as well anyways this is so stupid where's pegasus i'm not going to read the rest of this because it's going to take a while oh look at this yeah nso uh which is being sued by apple and whatsapp in u.s court has in the past said it takes all allegations of abuse of its tools no okay no never mind i'm not going to read the rest of this it's going to take a while this is just scary um Oh, yeah, Pegasus here. The Guardian and other media outlets have also detailed how NSO surveillance technology Pegasus has been used by company government clients to target American citizens. Okay. Anyways, okay, so the question is, what are your thoughts on this? I am scared out of uh, yeah, I'm scared shitless. Okay, that's my that's my response to this. Oxymoron in the live chat is saying government should be able to get access to this stuff. Private companies, no. I don't know if government should be able to get, I like your private, I mean, this government shouldn't be able to just like willy nilly, like you, okay, back when they, we didn't have these stuffs, okay, like for example, your house used to be a private area. And even the government coming in, they needed like a permission from a, from a judge, like they need a warrant, right? So there's certain things that are private to an individual. And you need specific, like, uh, you know, you need, you needed permission. You can't just like walk in, right? We like, I'm pretty sure if governments, even governments have access to this information, they're going to just use it um, on our private lives without anyone's permission. Norse mythology in the live chat is saying, this is why uh, democracy is so important. If you live in an autocracy or dictatorship, then you're in deep, well, I mean, this is the U.S. They're supposed to be democracy. Oxymoron is saying, yes, government should take data, but government, I don't know. I don't understand what you're saying there. All right, let me go to the next question. Anyways, um, okay, U.S. defense contractor, that's a private sector, so that's, like, that's dangerous. This should be illegal. This should not be in guerrilla. This shouldn't even be discussed. Like, this, is, this should be, like, your company is blacklisted by United States if you even touch stuff like this. <clears throat> <clears throat> the problem is that these private, these these companies, right, um, they, they, they themselves are like, we're not using it for evil, but then they sell it to people and they're like, well, they're using it for in a way that we didn't tell them to. Like, so you, you can't come after us. We just gave them the technology. So technically they're right. So you can't really go after them like that. Yeah, I guess like, okay, so fine. I guess like you, you sh you're right. Oxymoron is saying for monitoring terrorism and stuff like that. But this, the problem is that the government, yeah, so you're saying the government needs access to technology like this for monitoring terrorism and stuff like that, okay? But which government? You know what I mean? Like, do you trust the government of Saudi Arabia? Do, for government of Saudi Arabia, um, any atheist is a terrorist. For government of Iran, if they have access to the technology, any human rights activist is all of a sudden is, is a potential threat, right? And for United, for, gov for better governments, like United States, for example, you might think like, okay, they're, um, the thing is that they use it for things that they're not supposed to, and then they're, they're not transparent about it because they say it's classified information. So even 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 a government like the United States is going to use this for things that we know, like when when for example when you see how CIA operated um, based on things that was leaked or become declassified years after, you know that they're not they're not saints. They're like using it for things that they shouldn't be all the time. So you're like, oh yeah, they should have they should have access to this because of this. Well, yeah, they they maybe they should have access to this because of tackling terrorism, but they also use it for things that they're not supposed to. 
and you can't even ask for transparency because like oh well, uh, well if this is transparent then pe our enemies will see uh, our methods and we can't have that hey guys if you're a fan of blasphemy and sexy cali you know like me then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter link in the description below because if you subscribe we will send you a free copy of our blasphemous art ebook and let me tell you it is the tastiest blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today and we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week so make sure to subscribe link in the description below